prebiotics, probiotics, and symbiotics are the three fundamental elements of digestive health. Prebiotics means fiber. Probiotics means healthy bugs. Symbiotics means recycled glutamine that energizes and repairs the intestinal wall. Now, why are these important and how come they're in vogue? And they really are in vogue. I want you to know in medical school and at NIH, I did not learn much about them, although they were there. Fiber was important in the diet. Dennis Burkett had taught us that. Uh, probiotic healthy bugs were important. Metchnikoff had taught us that about yogurt. Symbiotics, the third term, symbiotics. Molecules that provide energy to the lining of the intestines so that your digestive competence can be restored. That sounds kind of important. In fact, for the last few years, I've had the privilege of being in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and sometimes presenting an important and keynote speech at an international congress of thousands of colleagues entirely devoted to prebiotics, probiotics, and symbiotics. And I've told you that that means fiber, good bugs, and energy for the repair of the wall of the digestive tract. But now I'd like to be more specific. In regard to prebiotic fiber, you need 40 to 100 grams a day of unprocessed fiber. And what that means is, if you're getting enough fiber from your food, then you're chewing your food a lot. And if you don't have to chew your food much, you're not getting enough fiber. So unprocessed fiber. It's not just complex carbs, it's unprocessed fiber from multiple sources, 40 to 100 grams each day. And by the way, for those of you who are not chemists, 40 to 100 grams means an ounce and a half to about four ounces of dry, unprocessed fiber. And what about those uh, probiotic organisms? Well, there's lots of them, it turns out, many, many, many kinds. But you want at least 40 to 100 billion healthy bugs coming in every day. And I'll explain briefly why that's so important. First of all, the acidophilus organisms, the ones that we associate with yogurt and uh, raw pickles and raw kimchi and raw sauerkraut, those organisms feed other healthy bacteria. They nurture the digestive tract and process but they don't multiply in the gut, so you have to take them in every day or they just aren't there. Hmm. And then you want other organisms. I recommend the Perk DigestiGuard. This has uh, 10 different strains of healthy organisms, multiple acidophilus, multiple bifidobacter, and other healthy organisms that work synergistically to repopulate a healthy digestive tract so that you can break foods down to their elemental building blocks, fully digested, and then rebuild yourself. Rather than partially digest food, leave immune reactive items that induce uh, inflammation and repair deficit, they induce autoimmune self-attack, they do all sorts of things you don't wanna have in your body. So prebiotics are important, the unprocessed fiber. Probiotics are important, the healthy bugs. And symbiotics, especially recycled glutamine. Now glutamine has always been the energy source for the digestive tract. But it was recommended by Doug Wilmot and Judy Schabert and others in the glutamine miracle that you take 15 to 60,000 milligrams a day, 15 to 60 grams a day to get the energy boosting effects of the glutamine. However, in that situation, you build up glutamate as an excitoneurotoxin and we don't recommend that. We have found how to recycle glutamine using a molecule called PAC, something your body makes in tiny amounts it is completely natural and physiologic, but hard to get. And it basically is what happens when you chemically connect B6 and alpha ketoglutarate. And when you make this pack, paradoxal alpha ketoglutarate, when glutamine, when the cell extracts the energy, when the enterocyte lining cell of the intestine takes the energy out of the glutamine, the ammonia, the amine, comes off. If that ammonia or amine or nitrogen just floats away and ends up in your sweat, stool, and urine, you lose that energy, and that's called catabolic illness, and that's what you don't want. 
On the other hand, if you recycle the glutamine, say 10 times, by including PAC, because in the body, if you're really healthy, the glutamine goes to amine plus glutamate, the amine is picked up by PAC and delivered to another glutamic acid to form glutamine, and then that glutamine can energize the cell over and over and over again, on average 10 times. And yes, we are privileged to have worldwide patents on this advance so that you can take the advantage of healthy glutamine to repair and energize the wall of your gut without the risk of glutamate buildup. So we want prebiotics, probiotics, and symbiotics, and yes, you need all of them. And today in the 21st century, given the stress, given the toxins, given the challenges of high-tech living, these are essential for survival. These are no longer elective only for those who are seriously impaired. I'm saying if you're healthy and want to stay so, or if you're unhealthy and want to get back to good health, then prebiotics, probiotics, and symbiotics are your friend. They're essential, and they are available.